Somewhere over the good times, Golden Films made a really crappy Wizard of Oz adaptation. As the Wizard of Oz is in the public domain, it is, of course, no stranger to varying degrees of quality for adaptations, but the one by Golden Films is probably one of the most useless. This Wizard of Oz cartoon is an early release by Golden Films, before they were actually called that, so it's under the American Film Investment Corporation name. Hard to believe they'd changed their name from something that exciting. And while this was originally an early Golden Films release, this DVD is a late Good Times release being put out by them in 2004. And of the utmost importance, or of absolutely no importance at all, while Dorothy has a blue dress like in the 39 movie in the actual cartoon, they changed it to pink for some reason on the DVD cover. <laughs> Anyway, this cartoon version of the story runs just slightly over 25 minutes. Which is one of the reasons that this adaptation feels of particularly little worth. It barely has any time to delve into the world of Oz or the characters. Unsurprisingly, you'll quickly notice that this cartoon is heavily influenced by the adaptation of Oz's most popular version, the 1939 live-action movie. They get about as close as they can to that movie in quite a few aspects. Probably close enough they could have gotten in trouble if anyone had actually watched this or cared about it. This animated movie does not use the ruby slippers, though, of course, as that was a creation of the 1939 movie and owned by MGM. Disney actually had to get permission to use the ruby slippers for Return to Oz. Which is a much darker take on Oz than the musical, and is personally my favorite version of it. Return to Oz's darker, more messed up tone is actually a bit closer to the world depicted in the books. In fact, the deadly desert from that movie is straight out of L. Frank Baum's books, and was the main thing keeping people from reaching Oz as it was supposed to be a real place and not most likely a dream like the Judy Garland movie suggested. So the magical footwear in the book was a pair of silver shoes, which is what we get here. This was changed to red for the MGM movie, so it'd be another element to really show off the Technicolor. Now the stupid movie doesn't credit the voice actors and we don't have a complete cast list, but people People have figured some of them out, and Terry Hawks, who voices Dorothy, is definitely doing her best Judy Garland impression. Terrible. We stopped. Where are we? Sorceress? Crushed. But I wouldn't hurt anyone. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I'm not a witch at all. There aren't any witches in Kansas. Terry Hawks is probably best known for being the mean girl in Prom Night 2. Or voicing Sailor Moon, one or the other. Sometimes the hardest thing in the world is believing in yourself. Well, I'm gonna win anyway. Sailor Moon says, Don't touch the queen. But that doesn't make you a loser. <laughs> <laughs> we even got Jim Cummings in this silly shit as he's in some of these early Golden Films movies and he's doing his best impression of Burt Lahr from the 39 movie as well. I just don't have the c c c courage to hunt anything more than half my s size. Put him up, put him up! <laughs> why am I in this movie? And wh why do I have this galaxy whole action figure? Candy Milo voiced the Good Witch of the Norse, so the three voice actors we know of that were in this were quite prominent ones. And kind of funny, this appears to be Candy Milo's first voice acting role. This Wizard of Oz was animated by the South Korean company Daiwan Animation, who worked on a few things I like, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers, and the real Ghostbusters. And they also did some more Golden Films movies, so... Eh. One strange change they made for this was Toto. In the book, he was a little black dog, like in the 39 movies. So I don't know why they made him a white dog with brown spots. <laughs> well, we start this movie off literally running. I told you this thing was rushed. There's a good few seconds of On M and Uncle Henry, so I hope you didn't expect anything out of them. Oh, Henry, you need to level up. Don't worry though, you see them again for a few seconds at the end. Spoilers! Well, can't wait 
night for you, Slowpoke. Good die, Dorothy. The tornado really shoots the house up super quick, so you'd think that would toss Dorothy around a bit more than absolutely nothing. Ah! No! I said no! I said no! Which I guess somehow negates you falling. Toto is supposed to fall out the trap door in the story, but the dog is suspended in the air by the tornado and Dorothy's able to grab him back in. I don't know why they didn't show something like this instead of just having Toto magic jump back in off screen from nothing. I guess even the trap door was an illusion though, as we see absolutely nothing on the base of the house seconds later. Stopped. It's a very gentle tornado, isn't it? Everyone, look at the wonderful land of Oz! There's, um, some colorful rocks or something on the ground. Yeah, quite the visual feast! And Dorothy celebrates losing her family, I guess. Welcome, sorceress, and thank you for crushing our enemy, the Witch of the East. I am the Good Witch of the North. Like all good witches, I love celebrating death. Your house did land on this witch. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, so you just pulled a homer? Well, in that case, we aren't going to help you find your way home, but you can go try that desert of safety. Oh, I should know! I guess the supposed good witch has magic glasses as the lenses aren't being held on by anything and just two circles floating in front of her face. One of which likes to disappear during this far shot. We just want to get home. <laughs> what is the matter with her? <laughs> Going home? That's a tough one. How do you know? You haven't even tried anything. The Wizard of Oz can help you with that. But where can I find this wizard? Follow this path to the Emerald City. Was the Yellow Brick Road hiding or something? What did the Nuisance Witch of the North actually do there? I suppose, to be fair to Dorothy, that is a rather appropriate reaction to that. Now you have my mark to protect you from danger. And thus, Dorothy turned into Rainbow Bright or something. Oh, oh this is very good. And very convenient, so we don't actually have to rip shoes off of a dead woman. These slippers should make your trip home that much easier. Oops, these don't fit. Guess you aren't Cinderella after all. I guess this is why Dorothy never put shoes back on after she fell and her shoes just flew off like she lost a video game power-up earlier. <laughs> Remember, always keep to the path! You know, we probably could have just shown her the way. I mean, what are we doing? Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. And hello to you, little girl. <coughs> no, I can't think. I don't have a brain in my head. I used to, but that was a long time ago. Hey, could you please get this stick out of my ass? I'm ready to go meet that lizard! <coughs> Hey, Dorothy, sometimes my face completely falls off. Pretty cool, right? Oh, oh, it's going to rain soon. This is by far the best part of the movie. Dorothy and the Scarecrow go inside this empty house, wait out the rain, and absolutely nothing happens. Stupid overhyped pile of shit 1939 movie didn't have them go into a house and do nothing. One of the most beloved films of all time, my ass. Okay, so I know some of you have never heard of hyperbole before, so I'll let you know that something actually did happen in here. Good thing I never need to eat. Wouldn't that line make more sense if the fridge was empty? So after that thrill, Dorothy and the jerk man leave the door open to whoever's house they just crashed in because screw them. I was chopping this tree when it started to rain and I got stuck. I'm really annoying.
nothing, so just leave me here to die. It's a deal! Dorothy, of course, lubes up the Tin Man's shoulders, which naturally makes him able to walk. Luckily, though, this doesn't get quite as creepy as the 39 version. Oh, oil my arms, please. Oil my elbows. Oh, oh. I never had to worry about rust when I was a man. Oh yeah, the Tin Woodman used to be human, but then he chopped all his limbs off with a cursed axe and replaced them with tin. Fun story. You were a man? Before the Wicked Witch of the West put a curse on me and turned my body into tin. Well, that's the less horrifying version of that backstory, I suppose. Without a heart, I can't love anyone. Which means your life means nothing to me. I said no! Oh no! What do we do now? Walk over it? Watch me turn this tree into toothpicks! This is a real Anaconda 4 move, you Oz idiots! Any way around it? Can we go off-road? Guess what, guys? We're walking. Oh no, 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 no! What am I gonna do? Now! Looks like I'm gonna be walking. Wow, that was an 11 year old callback. Old, old, old. That sounded close. That wasn't a bird, that's for sure. Look up in the sky! It's a lion! No, it's a tiger! No, it's a bear! Oh my! Shit! No need to worry. You have the mark of the Good Witch's kiss on your forehead, Dorothy. How do you know that? <laughs> now stop that! Now what do you think you're going to do? Eat us? Well, you can wipe that idea right out of your bushy head! Oh my! Dorothy ain't afraid of no lion! Glad Dorothy didn't sing a song about lions in this one, since she doesn't give a shit. You must be a bully! <laughs> you're right! I am a b b b b b bully I'm sorry! <laughs> Please, help me get my courage so that I can eat you! <laughs> Wait! Holy shit, Tin Man was just about to kill the cowardly lion. He was so disappointed too when Dorothy stopped him. It's the Kaladas! So, in the book, there are these creatures called the Kaladas with bear bodies and tiger heads that attack Dorothy and the Ozettes, and it's kind of amazing that they actually adapted them in this. Remember what they did in the 39 movie instead of the Kaladas? Nothing! Or maybe a munchkin hanging himself in the background for people with overactive imaginations. The cowardly lion immediately betrays his name by saving the gang by jumping them across the gorge. Well, he saves everyone except the Tin Woodman, but I mean he was about to chop old CL into bits, so I can't really blame the lion for leaving him to die. No! I said no! <laughs> <laughs> How did they possibly grab the woodman there? He fell from the middle of the log. There it is! It's the Emerald City! Yeah, might as well waste some time. I mean, it's not like you're already cramming a load into 25 minutes or anything. Who dares disturb the mighty Oz? This is the wizard's great illusion in this one? A shining bowling ball on a chair? Really got kind of lazy here, didn't you, wizard? He can't even keep his glow centered correctly. Rid the land of the Wicked Witch of the West. Do what I say or I'll roll onto the floor and stub your toes! Oh <laughs> shit! Ben better do what he says! Well, he seemed, uh, nice. I mean, as far as balls that order me to murder someone go, he seemed pretty nice. Well, what did he mean, get rid of? And we thought the Scarecrow was the one without a brain. How will we know where to find the Witch of the West? She must be that smudge on the cell! Quick, get her! The gang follow the yellow brick I mean dirt path, right into the living forest from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Man, Tin Woodman's an ass, and you'd think this would lead to something with the trees, but nah. However, the Wicked Witch has an amazing plan. A net. Man, what a coward. Where did those little men come from? Oh, they're w w winkies. 
Winkies? Winkies? No. Silly fools! Can't do anything right! They don't even know how to make their mouths disappear correctly! Fly, my winged servants, and destroy these fools! Yes, fly, my not pretties, uh, my uglies. Though, comparatively, I don't really know what's not ugly in this cartoon. The winged monkeys have really been working out in this cartoon. Also, they kind of look like horse monkeys? We again see that coward leap into action to try and fight the monkeys. Hey, the monkeys! Run, Dorothy! Save yourself! At what point did this guy not have courage? That's it? Some great protection spell, useless witch of the shit. They can still grab you, but they can't claw you while they're doing it. Pretty great spell, huh? <laughs> anyway, now that the wickedly lazy witch has captured Dorothy, she has her scrubbing a small part of the floor in a super dirty room. That should be looking good in about a year. You vicious little furball! I'M MELTING! Wow, I think the Wicked Witch of the West lasted a full minute of screen time. Great development there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I mean, are you hurt very badly? I mean, maybe we could put a bandage on that. I hope you're happy! You've killed me! Good. You have defeated the Wicked Witch and made us free men. In retrospect, us stupid warthog winkies could have freed ourselves very easily. What a waste of a lifetime. The winged monkeys are your servants now. You may make only three requests, so use them wisely. Only three? Stupid stingy monkeys. How come Dorothy only gets three requests out of them? Or did the Wicked Witch of the West just really hold on to ordering her monkeys around during her entire rule? I just learned how to walk two days ago, and I'm already flying! Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all! Nothing at all! Nothing at all! Stupid sexy monkeys! I will not honor the requests of fools! How did he know that we were fools? We better leave before, before he gets really mad. I mean, he might bounce around at us and that'd be pretty scary. You're no wizard at all if you can't keep your promise. What? Is honesty really a wizard thing? I've been doing this all wrong. I'm no wizard at all. Oh no! The wizard has embarrassing fashion sense. No wonder he pretended to be a ball. You're a real person? If he is a wizard, would he not have been a real person? You're a witch? I guess you aren't a real person then. <laughs> The people thought I was a wizard because I landed in a big balloon. I mean, sure, they had four actually magical witches, tiger bear creatures, and flying monkeys, but an idiot in a balloon gets made into the leader of Oz. They built me this city and I stayed here pretending I had magic. Wow, you're a really horrible person then, aren't you? Why didn't you leave a long time ago? No, I was afraid of the two evil witches. Uh, they really do have magic. That's why I sent you, a little girl, to go fight one for me. I'm an irredeemable monster. I guess in this adaptation, the Wicked Witches can figure out that amazing ball on a chair gag and that all they had to do was go into the next room and kill him. With this balloon, Dorothy, you and I can fly right over this land and back home to Kansas. I mean, sure, I've done nothing but trick you and try to get you killed, but trust me and fly around in a balloon alone with me. What about my friends? You haven't given them what they asked. They already have what they asked for. I mean, from a certain point of view, they already have those things, so really, I kind of fulfilled the request, right? No. Uh, these will help you see clearly and think clearly. These aren't my prescription, you idiot. This will remind you that you have a good and kind heart inside. That's messing up my internal mechanics, you stupid old coot. I crown you once again, king of all the beasts of the kingdom. <laughs> well said. 
And now, Dorothy, I would like to grant your request. Uh, I guess the wizard took his glasses back. I can't bring it back down! Your only hope is with Glinda, the Good Witch of the South! Ah, uh, so the 39 movie turned Glinda into the Good Witch of the North that Dorothy meets at the beginning, but originally in the book, Glinda was the South Witch, and Dorothy didn't meet her until she was almost done with her little Oz trip. I'm sorry I couldn't have done more! Yeah, you could have done something! Anything at all! What about the winged monkeys? This land is surrounded on all sides by a desert, which even we cannot cross. We aren't as powerful as a hot air balloon. I'm very sorry, but you have wasted your second request. <sighs> Wasn't even worth saving those stupid monkeys from the witch. You could fly us to Glenda's castle, could you not? Yes, that we could do. I saw, I thought, we kicked its ass! If only that stupid North Witch had just told me to see your sister instead of wasting my time on that lying old ball man! Even if Glinda can't help you, you can always stay with us. And we'll protect you! <laughs> we'll protect you! What the hell was that? Like two takes? <laughs> like two takes? You wish to go home, don't you? Were you just watching the whole time? Thanks for nothing! Glinda's the good witch of my ass! I could have gone home from the very first day I was here? Yes! <laughs> Click your heels together three times! And that info sure came easy once Dorothy did your dirty work and killed your sister you didn't like! What we got back didn't live long, fortunately. Dorothy! Oh, Dorothy. Goodbye, Dorothy. Where the hell are they waving from? Oh, I get it. Somewhere over the rainbow. Except that they're under the rainbow. Screw that one up, idiots! But hey, look, I've made it back to Kansas. It's just as sepiatone as I remember. So I've lost color. Is this a happy ending? <laughs> So fake, that toy is gonna break. Famous don't let me down. You need to be around. Grab that chocolate pizza. I even like it cause I want to fail us so fail us. Bring a multi comedy, fail us so fail us. And animation movie, fail us so fail us. What we really is so fun, fail us so fail us. What's your opinion about? What a stupid movie and a stupid review. I'm glad I just dreamt it or something, because there's no place like the end of this video.